What if I told you that the ancient Egyptians had a dark side that they kept hidden for thousands of years? Prepare to be amazed, as scientists have made groundbreaking discoveries that change everything we thought we knew about this mysterious civilization. The Labyrinth of Hoera Welcome to the mysterious and impressive world of ancient Egypt. The Aura Pyramid is a desert structure built by Pharaoh Amenemhat III. It is known as the Black Pyramid due to its rough appearance and is built with bricks and stones. But the most interesting thing is the underground complex called the Aurora Labyrinth, discovered in 2008. This labyrinth, mentioned by Herodotus in antiquity, has mysterious chambers and could change our understanding of ancient history. It is said to contain 12 courtyards covered by doors and chambers in and below the ground, but only the upper chambers have been explored. The underground chambers are still a mystery. The Rosetta Stone in 1799, a group of scientists accompanying Napoleon on his military expedition stumbled upon a discovery that would change the world forever, the Rosetta Stone. This ancient relic dates back to the year 196 BC, and it contains a decree written by a council of priests that asserted the right of the 13-year-old pharaoh named Ptolemy V2, rule Egypt. But what makes the Rosetta Stone so remarkable is that this decree was written in not one, not two, but three languages, hieroglyphic, demotic, and Greek. At the time of its discovery, only the Greek language was known, which made deciphering the other two languages an impossible task. Until scientists realized that the Greek inscription communicated the same decree as the other two languages which allowed them to crack the code and unlock the secrets hidden within the hieroglyphic and demotic texts. Today, the Rosetta Stone is in the British Museum, but not without controversy. Egyptians have repeatedly called for the stone to be returned to their homeland, sparking debates over cultural property and the importance of preserving history. Secret Tunnel a secret corridor at the entrance to the Great Pyramid of Giza has been found after 4,500 years of using muography. This discovery could lead to even more surprising discoveries about the pyramids. The corridor measures almost 10 meters long and almost 2 meters wide, and could have been created to redistribute weight around the entrance to the pyramid or an unknown chamber. Mustafa Wazari, head of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, has vowed to continue scanning the pyramid to see what else is hidden beneath. New Understanding of Mummification Previously, it was believed that ancient Egyptians mummified their dead to preserve their bodies, but researchers at the Manchester Museum say this is wrong. According to them, mummification was done to guide the deceased towards divinity. Victorian researchers mistakenly thought that the Egyptians mummified as we preserve fish and salt. In fact, the Egyptians used a natural mineral called natron that was found near the Nile and was used in temple cleansing and rituals, as well as mummification. This discovery will change what we know about mummies. The Unfinished Obelisk in the quarries of Aswan lies an unfinished obelisk made of granite that could change our view of the ancient Egyptian world. The Egyptians chiseled three sides before abandoning it due to a crack in the granite. This mystery has baffled historians, who wonder how these single block stone structures were carved and transported. Although it was never completed, the project provided valuable insight into ancient Egyptian masonry techniques. During the investigations, tool marks of the workers and colored lines that mark the location of the workers were discovered. The unfinished obelisk is just the beginning of a grand adventure through the ages. The city of 3,000 years. A 3,000 year old ancient Egyptian city has been discovered, known as the Lost City. It is considered one of the most important discoveries in archaeology since the tomb of Tutankhamun. The town called the Jet contains a bakery, residential and administrative areas, beetle amulets, pottery, and other everyday objects. Tombs and valuable treasures were also found. This discovery could lead to more discoveries about life in ancient Egypt. Geometric Miracle An impressive tunnel has been discovered in the ruins of Tapasiris Magna off the coast of Egypt. The tunnel is 1,305 meters long, carved from sandstone and has a height of 2 meters. 
Kathleen Martinez and her team believe this tunnel could lead them to the tomb of Cleopatra and Mark Antony, although the probability is low. This discovery would be the most important of the century if confirmed. Childbirth Protective Tattoos In ancient Egypt, some women tattooed their bodies before giving birth to protect themselves during childbirth. Six tattooed mummies have been found in Deir el Medina. While it's rare to find ancient tattoos, archaeologists have found images of Bess, a god who protects women during childbirth, and black lines on a woman's lower back. Skin preservation is important, as archaeologists cannot unroll mummies. Experts believe these women could have tattooed protective images of gods on their bodies, like portable magical amulets. The discovery of these tattoos provides new information about the beliefs and practices of women in ancient Egypt. Falcon Sanctuary A team of researchers has discovered a 1,700-year-old falcon sanctuary in Berenice, an ancient Egyptian port. Inside the shrine was a pedestal with 15 headless hawks, a stone monument and an iron spear nearby. An inscription was also found that read it is not allowed to boil a head here. Experts believe that the hawks were offerings to the gods and that the spear could also have been an offering. The inscription about boiling heads raises questions about the religious beliefs and rituals of the ancient port city of Berenice. Golden Tongues Archaeologists in Egypt have found mummies with golden tongues in an ancient cemetery near Kenna. Gold was believed to help the deceased transform into divine beings in the afterlife. These mummies were also buried with other funerary goods such as necklaces, pottery, and gold scarabs. The golden tongues and eyes are examples of the ancient Egyptian belief that the flesh of the gods was made of gold. While not a new discovery, it's still fascinating and intriguing. This discovery reignited interest in the beliefs and rituals of the ancient Egyptians, and everything points to a complex belief system that we are still learning about. But as we continue to unearth these mysteries, it's hard not to wonder if some things are better left buried in the sands of time. The Valley of the Golden Mummies At the Baharia Oasis in Egypt, archaeologists have found more than 10,000 mummies in a burial site called the Valley of the Golden Mummies. The mummies had golden masks, cardboard decorations and artifacts such as jewelry and coins. Archaeologists wondered who the people were who had lived in Baharia, as they were wealthy and had many artisans' workshops. The discovery left many questions unanswered and makes us wonder what other secrets are hidden in this place. Realistic Portraits of Mummies A team of archaeologists has uncovered realistic portraits of mummies along with other artifacts in the ancient city of Philadelphia, Egypt. The portraits are impressively realistic and capture what the deceased looked like. Additional artifacts were also found, such as a funerary building and a statue of the goddess Isis Aphrodite. In addition, papyri written in Demotic and Greek were discovered, providing information about the society, economy, and religion of the time. The owners of the portraits were likely middle class or elite due to the cost of commissioning such custom paintings. This is a historic discovery due to the rarity of mummified portraits and the difficulty of carrying out archaeological excavations in the region. The 16 Hands In Egypt, the excavation team discovered 16 human hands buried in four separate pits, but that's not the strangest thing, they are all right hands, no left hands. According to experts, this is the first physical evidence of an ancient practice in which soldiers cut off their enemy's right hands and exchanged them for gold. The two wells found in front of what is believed to be a throne room each contained one hand, while the other two wells contained the 14 remaining right hands. These wells were built into an outer space of the palace at a later date. Cutting off an enemy's right hand had a symbolic purpose of taking away his strength and power eternally. The director of excavations at Avarice, Dr. Manfred Biotech, explained that the right hand was chosen specifically to facilitate the counting of victims. It is believed that the Hyksos, who ruled Egypt between the 16th and 17th centuries BC, were the ones who introduced this practice. 
However, no records of this practice have been found in the Hyksos north of Canaan, so it is uncertain whether the Hyksos took it from the Egyptians or vice versa, or whether it originated elsewhere. The discovery of these hands is chilling and offers insight into the ancient world of war and violence.